<laughs> hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. <laughs> Enjoy a night again. And today we have landed right here. I don't know if you can see us, but we are here. Uniforms Shadow. Right here in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. Do you know why, Joy? Why? I'll tell you why. I'm glad you asked. We're here to go to the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. Yeah. You excited? I am. I am too. There's lots of all this good stuff here. There's animals and gemstones. Yeah. Stuff I like. The natural world, like natural history. Actually pretty good. That's the building. There is a line to get through the security checkpoint. Soon we'll be in. Bom, bom, bom. Oogling and ogling. Ooh, ah. All that cool stuff inside. But we got a little line, so uh, we're gonna wait. Yeah, not you guys. You all get to step right up and go for the ride. Made it through security, been resituated. That was more intense. Yeah, everything was dumped out of my backpack. But at least we're greeting, greeted by Henry right here. The giant African bush elephant. Joy, I think we made a wrong turn. I thought we were going to the National Museum of Natural History. Wait, elephants are natural? I, I think we went to the National Museum of Taxidermy History. What? Dun, dun, dun. This isn't a zoo. No, it's not. They're all dead, except the butterflies. Well, yeah. That's what I want to see up there. The Hope Diamond. Over 45 carats of diamond. Yeah, you definitely have masks, but we're starting with my favorite thing. The St. Ocean Hall. Because I like it under the sea, under the sea. I think they're trying to be a little more like a New York's Museum of Natural History. They got a big whale hanging from the ceiling now. You see that? I don't know. Ours is bigger though. We got the big blue whale. Chambered Nautilus. I love all of them. Giant isopod. That's a large bed bug right there. Ooh, Christmas tree worm. That worm. That's cool. It's my dream in life to go swimming with the whale sharks. But here is my favorite of all sharks: the hammerhead. I never knew there's something called the scalloped hammerhead. Who is this whale? This isn't a model or just any whale. It means Phoenix. In the North Atlantic Right Whale Catalog, she number 1705. I like this. To, to track its suction cups attached to her back. Ooh, snappy shrimp. You think they relate to snappy shrimp? I like how the coral is very black light ass. Yeah. Uh -huh. I like this. Look at this crown of thorns. It's a crazy looking thing. I always love these sea stars. We have all the different corals. My favorite personally is brain coral. Joy, I have a question for you. What do zombie mermaids eat? Brain coral. Brain. This is crazy here. I've never seen something like it. That's actually a narwhal skull that got double tusked. Wow. Sea urchin tusks. I like this Galapagos batfish. It must be cool going through, learning everything like that. These old fossils are cool. It's showing how whales evolved, that they came from the land and evolved back into the sea. We got some cool fossils here. I like this thing. Looks like we're in a room full of them. All the old sea life. Ooh, please touch. That's insane. I know, we're feeling fossils. 
These ones they don't want us to touch though. No. This stingray is cool. The sea urchin is really cool. Like, the giant shark. Dun, dun, dun. Joy, come. Where did they find it? Crazy. Off North Carolina. Imagine that thing swimming at you. Uh -huh. Armored fish. It was scary when you do look at the size of it next to a person. That thing would, uh, yeah. Joy, you ready to see myth versus history about the narwhal? The unicorn of the sea? We already saw one horn narwhal. Looking at unicorn or origin. The cute little rhino. So I think we might not only have one double narwhal, we might have two double narwhals. And you sure, Joy, we have another one. A double tusk narwhal. What? Tell me about the two tusks. Because it, although extremely unusual, occasionally both of their tooth, because that's what it is, uh -huh. it'll erupt out of the uh, Yeah. Instead of just the left it's like the major one that comes. Ah. And then it says like even when they both are up, they have to remain asymmetrical. Uh-huh. And if any of you don't think size does matter, oh it does. Look at the size of that narwhal tusk. Joy, around the same size of Robert Wadlow. So I think I was right, Joy was wrong. It happens sometimes. She doesn't admit it. I think we are in the National Museum of American Taxidermy. Or we're still near ruby red slippers in Spostoni. Because I see lions and, and tigers and I'm sure I'm gonna see a bear. You like this otter doing his his, his sexy pin up pose? Do I know something interesting? Oh. See that sloth? He's actually not taxidermy, he's just that slow. He just hangs out in this exhibit. <laughs> oh, some of my favorite story above us. Look at the manatees. We have these lionesses taking down the water buffalo as the male guy is just hanging out. Joy, I have a question. When I get home from work and I go, what's your dinner? Why don't you ever just throw the meat down like that? Here it is. Porcupines, the first punk rockers. Look at the spikes on his jacket. Eat or be eaten. I'd rather eat. But he's not eating. He's just playing. I just want to pet he's you. Totally just playing. I just want to pet you, little bird. Just playing. Ooh, blueberries! I want to eat the berries, Joy. No, that's not blueberries. What is it then? Yeah, it's poop. Oh, I don't want to eat poop. How this is display is made that they're all like drinking at the thing. A little riverbed. We have our zebras, a giraffe. It's cool taxidermy the way he's going down. To the big hippopotamus. Do re mi. He was singing to me. He was. He was a singing hippo. It's gonna rain, Joy. It's gonna rain. Okay. It's oh, it's raining over there. We've got a little little section off to under. Australia. We're gonna see some other uh, marsupials from down under. We've got some kangaroos. We have a little rabbit that thought he was a kangaroo. One of my favorites, the tree kangaroo. They're so cute. Joy. A dingo ate your baby. We have a dingo. And this poor koala. He's trying to hold onto this glass tube. Oh, no. I can give him a high five though. Oh, 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 oh. Look at all the bat bats with the flying squirrels. Sugar gliders. Sugar gliders. And that was it, Joy. That was all of Australia. What's in this pouch? It's a little baby. It's a baby. You know what the baby's name is? It's a baby Joe. E. It's a baby Joey. <laughs> I'm one of Joy's favorites. So red fox. So we're about to go to South America now, where we start off a woolly monkey and a mama set, right there. I 
I do love that the marmoset, because it is so close to related to us, it really looks like a little human skull, like an alien skull. That is a giant armadillo. Oh my god. <laughs> Bigger than the bush dog. Capybara. I do like this cross section showing the crazy muscles. But uh, you want to go see the animal that you like? No, not a kinkajou. You know, they're cute. No, not another monkey. But here. Mm -hmm. I do love these tiny, tiny little bats. I know he is really cute. Look at this one trying to save a mouse. Um, that's not saving it. What do you mean? That's not saving it. What is he doing in the mouse then? No. Oh. Lunch. That's sad. We're learning about the different kinds of claws, which are retractable and that. See the difference of how they eat and how they catch. And then underneath that, it's just a big sun bear, which is so cute. Are you a carnivore? No, I'm an omnivore. And then we have the giant orangutan. Primates, you and your closest relatives. It's a galago. Look at the little hamster. God, he's super cute. Mm -hmm. God is so adorable. I want one of those. Mm -hmm. I want this armored rat. It's like a porcupine meets a rat. For me, one of our oldest relatives. This thing. Morgan Kodon was only 10 centimeters long. But a close relative, this tiny creature is the first mammal on Earth. I like that it goes from one ancestor all of this. Oh, there's a dude. There's a dude. I found us. Uh huh. Oh, thanks to this little guy right here. Hi, that guy. North America. Home sweet home. It looks like we have a little coyote starting off. Reminds me of Boy Scouts. We sing a song. I'm a beaver, you're a beaver, we're a beaver. All. When we get together, we do the beaver call. And yeah, 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 and yeah. We do these hand motions with our hand. Yeah. Wide open prairie. This guy's singing here. You see him? Uh -huh. la, la, la. And that guy's back up. I'm singing too. Beautiful American bison. <laughs> They all look like they're singing in this display. Looking at the grass half a mouse. But Joy, look, my spirit animal. Trash panda. He likes shiny things too. This just proves that I'm a raccoon. How does a raccoon make it through winter? It fattens up. Raccoon prepares for lean time by almost doubling weight. See this chin? That just proves I'm part raccoon. Doubling up weight for winter. Gotta keep me warm. And it's what I eat too. I nightly prowl on fruits, plants, fish, and tons of garbage. Taco Bell, McDonald's, all that garbage. <laughs> I want to give your baby cuddles. Don't attack me. Oh, I only got to pet a baby black bear once at a Boy Scout scout walk. And they had a cage with four of these little guys like that big. And they were just playing with you. And I was petting it all day long. It's my favorite thing. But my spirit animal is back again. More raccoons. We had the coyote and I was looking for my favorite mammal and I just found him. There he is, Joy. My wolf. This guy, this guy right here makes the best coffee. Caribou coffee, I love your coffee, man. Compare your boar print. Brown, poor, bear. That's the polar bear and this is the brown bear. I know. Not quite as big as Paul. What about brown bear? You think you could play with wrestle him? Stand next to him. He's got a few inches on you. But look who's hanging up top. We do have the polar bear here. We have to his party frogs. But we're gonna go look at the polar bear. How do polar bears stay warm in the winter? Yeah. Eat these little guys. 
And it's a sea otter. They're cute on the outside until you know their true history. I'm not gonna talk about it though. Now we have human origins. What makes you different from other animals? I live in a house and brush my teeth. <laughs> I, I work a nine to five. <laughs> This, but it's scary truth watching how humans have taken over the too many people, the population. This one, this one right there. I was like, oh, these like blown glass lights are really cool looking. Until I realized that's cholera, that's HIV, that's the bubonic plague, that's smallpox, <laughs> that's influenza, and that's ame amoebic dysentery. I don't know why they look like cool blown glass. Yeah, humans are starting to produce extra rapid. Three billion people in 1959 to six billion in 99. And then, then we have all them, the animals, look at that. 2.7 billion to 4.1 billion. And the center of did he just shoved them all in tubes like this. That's how the boat was on. <laughs> so Joey just told me that was animal domestication. We gotta stop putting these poor animals in these tubes. But this early human, which I never knew, it was actually was a hobbit. We had hobbits living on Earth. It's a replica, 80,000 years old. I'm looking at all the old humans, and I think I'm related to this guy. Look at those shakes. Do you see the resemblance, Char? I think we're both related to him. I see it in your shakes, too. Yeah. Look at him, man. He's cute. So are you. I suck him in. I don't. Watch, watch. You can see the resemblance, I know you can. All the evolution of the different skulls, from how it was Neanderthal, all the way to us, Homo sapiens. And in the corner of this evolution, we have a replica of Lucy, nickname given by scientists to this 3.2 million year old early human skeleton found in what is now Ethiopia. I like this joy. Show the changing of the the feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I should be a home. We're looking at National Geographic geography photography. And comes to the photography section. We have some old Coda Lux. Oh, no. And and look, it's it's. Well, there is some Nikon. There's been lots but, but if you look right there, 400 TX, and then you can see it through it. 400 TX in my pocket. You know why? It's because what I'm shooting today with that camera that's always carrying for me. I'm at this geode. How did it form? I like this. The bird headdress. Look at those samples of creative coil. Where do we get our collections? Confiscated items. We're in a cool section. They're teaching us how they got their collections. And it's showing stuff like with the skeleton here. Who actually is him, Robert Kennicott, an enthusiastic naturalist. Robert Kennicott did many species and artifacts for the Smithsonian Institute from 1852 to 1866. Kennicott's descendant donated his remains museum, where they now part of the research collection he helped create. And here he is. This is cool. These wood blocks with all these different trees represented. And this Wilson's Wood Collection. The Saffron Lions Collection. Collected during the Smithsonian Roosevelt Expeditions, which went on in April 1913. Look at this sample of lapis. Oh, pretty strong. These species. The biologists actually discovered these species. Bentoed geckos. Hey, baby snapping turtle. That's so cute. Sure, bugs, bugs, bugs. Butterflies in the skies. No one's working here, but here is the fossil lab. So this is being painted? Uh-huh. 
and I'm painting cast the same cast after painting. Lower part of the utility of duckbill dinosaur, we collected it in Montana. This is really cute. How to become a fossil on a stone like an old video arcade game. You drop in the main, you have to show in the steps. Joy, are you ready for digging up dinosaurs? Bringing up a baby. Here we have a triceratops, more than a year old, and there would be a baby triceratops, less than one year old. But here, here we have a full grown one. Time 66 to 68 million year old. Length, 30 feet, Joy. That's crazy, but it's not as crazy as this guy behind you. There he is. He's coming to eat me. It's the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The, the skeleton also shows he can't ever tie his own sneakers. Mm. Poor, poor guys couldn't reach it. But it's okay, he didn't wear sneakers. Ah, he wore Crocs? I don't know. No. We saw the regular fish room, now we're at the skeleton room. This is cool. I came in with the skin peeled off the top and bottom of him. I like this guy. Giant leatherback. I guess we entered the hall of uh, skeletons. I know where we went, Joy. I'm trying to find bugs. I found skeletons. You found skeletons. We don't have a map, we're just winging it as we're walking through this museum. Which might be big. But it's cool though. I like the bison skull. Oh look, it's a sea cow. Primates. It's the evolution. It's the elephant discovery station. Big bone means big bodies means big relatives means big fossils means big questions means big quest means big discovery. Big family, big story. But well, you're talking about the elephant because the big guy is right there. Joy, did you know there's actually a zoo inside this museum? Really? We're gonna go check it out. The insect zoo. Ooh, I like the painting. It's like, it's like Honey, I Shrunk the Kid. See the zoo with the bugs around it? Oh, yeah. Insect relative. So it's not insect, they're relative stuff. I found this on the page. Hang on. I found this guy. The tarantula. He's just chilling. Spends most of their time living in the burrows, feeding on mice, frogs, lizards, and insects. I can't. Oh, I found him. I found him, Joy. He came out? No, he's still hiding. Oh, I see. There's the scorpion. I don't know what's over here. Oh, I like the theming in here. <laughs> Anticipation, get it, except, except the Antichrist fly. Emperor Scorpions, can we find them? There he is, Joy. Oh, wow. The Emperor Scorpion. So remember, I always like the display. <laughs> I'm feeling tiny with all this stuff. No. We have another transfer of Mexican orange knee. And here we have wolf spider, which I can't find yet. He's right here. <laughs> I was afraid Joe, he got out. I thought he, I thought he was. He's right here. Oh, I like that. Honey bananas. Forage for nectar or honey. That's cool. See, you can see it, Joy. You see the honey too. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Find where I had in the kitchen. Oh, that's this one I touched. This with the with the German cockroaches. I hate the silver fish. They're hiding in the bookcases. The fleas. They're hiding on the poor dog. Common mosquito. Uh, they're they're living in the found the bird's bed. And last we have is my favorite fireflies. Oh. Do you see what's really cool about this honeybees enclosure? Where are they going? 
they could go out this pipe and they, go outside. and they could actually go outside. So this is just the honeybees home, but they actually are are open to the outside world. There's a few hanging out in the pipe there. That's where they all go from out here. This is where they keep growing more butterflies. We have all these little cocoons and all these butterflies growing. See that one? That one just came in. Oh yeah, you, you can see it. It's just, just see the one like also sitting on the uh -huh. floor. Yeah, he's, he's coming oh, out we're, now. We're, we're literally seeing a butterfly, a caterpillar turn into a butterfly before our very eyes. We're going to check out the brown recluse spider and the black widow. We don't have to wear brown because we love but those black widows. Quiet, carefully see. There's the brown recluse. And right in there, we have the black widow. There, they're skittish. They prefer to one with her and bite only in self fence. So they do bite. Oh, you got some problem. We saw those butterflies being born before an additional fee. You could walk through this little plastic thing and look at butterflies. Instead, we're gonna go look at something Joey likes more than, more than butterflies. Mm -hmm. Do you know what they are? <laughs> Shiny stuff, the diamonds. Joy, size doesn't only matter. Size means everything. Yeah. Able to touch the giant tusk This is in reproduction. We're actually touching the ivory. You know what I'm doing now, Joy? Tickling that ivory. You're right, I'm tickling the ivory. Oh, nice to see you, Joy. The Hope Diamond. We're at the world's most famous gem, renowned for its flawless clarity, rare blue color. There it is. 45.52 carats found in India. I'll show that other side. Oh, I see it. I see its back, Joy. Look at that. Look at the curves. Look at the shine. Here's a sample I like. A giant piece of copper. I always think it's a beautiful stone. Go stay next to Joy. I want to show reference size, how big that piece of copper is. Yeah, it's really big. Pretty block of quartz. Wait, it looks like a sculpture. It's not. It's actually just a sandstone concentration. Or sandstone concretation. And this one, Joy. I've never seen a stone like this on our planet. You know why? Because it's from outer space. We found Tucson, Arizona. It's a meteorite made out of iron. I have a pair of mini Antoinette's earrings. Probably from India, weighs 14.25 and 20.34 carats, respectively. We have Napoleon's diamond. Oh, look at this crown. Parisian turquoise and over 1,000 pounds totaling 700 carat. There it is. The chalk emerald. 37.8 carats. You know what goes would go nice with that? That ring? What? How about, how about a nice necklace? <laughs> This ruby. Yeah. It's my birthstone. I need a sapphire that big. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. But here we have my favorite stone. A star sapphire. A star of Asia sapphire. These are called the Hooker Yellow Diamond. Hooker made some good money and heard it. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Got some pretty aquamarines. Here from Brazil, enjoys back to the diamonds. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have the Portuguese diamond. She's the largest cut diamond in their collection. It was once owned by Peggy Hopkins Joyce, an actress in the Ziegfeld Folly. It's named, it was no document connecting it to Portuguese. Interesting. 
That's a big piece of corn. 242,000 carrots. Joy? What? Why can't fortune tellers have babies? Why? Because they have crystal balls. <sighs> I like the brooch. Look at the size of that quartz. Enjoy? You can. It says please touch. Oh, it says please touch. Touch some atoms. What are we going to touch here? More quartz. Joy, I'm rich, I'm rich. I found some gold. Oh, it's pyrite. It's fool's gold. Wah, wah, wah. Some pretty amethyst. They're Joy's birthstone. She's a fan. Oh, yeah. I used to not be when I was like really little. I like it too. That's crazy. Arkansas quartz. Things bigger than me. It's heavier than our bag. So beautiful. I love amethyst geodes, Joy. Uh huh. These ones, where it's funny, it looks like 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 wood splintering. Yeah. This one looks like someone's mouse talking to me. Hey, hey, get over here, kid. Oh, uh, Smithsonianite. Is it named after Smithsonian? I just want to rub it. It looks so cool. Yeah. Like this, the hematite, the malachite, and the calcite. All the ites. All the ites. I, I like this i. Mm -hmm. Again, some cool metals. We have our copper here. Next to our silver. And there it is. We struck a rich joy. We found the gold. Gold with quartz. Uh huh. So, I like that we actually have fool's gold and real's gold. Real's gold and fool's gold. Uh huh. <laughs> we dig, 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 dig all the daylight through. That's what they found. I like this. The limestone, but all this, the cool stuff hidden in it. I bet this. I need to collect pieces like this in my collection. <laughs> Coming to my favorite section, Joy. My favorite section in any museum's gem and minerals. You ready? Oh, look at this cool green stuff. It's nice, isn't it, Joy? It's cute. It's like the right Now look. Black light rocks. I like is that a lot of them are right from where? Near us, the Franklin Sterling Hill, New Jersey. The fluorescent mineral capital of the world. What do we have here? We actually have a section of the Sterling Hill Mine from Franklin, New Jersey. That's pretty cool. That's yeah, really cool. In Washington, I have to go to Washington to see stuff like this. Natural sculptures, ooh. Some big meteorites. You know what I have to say about them is? What? Here come the men in black. They might be aliens. So there you have it. Joy looks a little done. We finished another museum here in DC for the day. Yeah. Time to head back home to New York, but Joy, Joy, you look tuckered out like you're one of the taxidermies now. You're just done like, eh, eh. I am. But we did good. We saw a lot of stuff. Diamonds, yeah. bones. Sparkle things. Sparkle things. Dead things. Dead things. Good day, good day. Because yeah. For us, that's a successful day. <laughs> All right, so Smithsonian Institute. National Museum of, Amer of Natural, Natural History. History. Been there, done that. Remember, folks, safe travels, good eats, and live life. And about those good eats, let's go eat some dinner. Yes, I'm hungry. Right. Yay, I had a great time here at the Smithsonian. So much fun. I'm just screaming with joy. But well, where is she? Oh, I didn't eat her again, did I? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>